Hey, I'm Miss Jane, and I'm here with my assistant, Lily. <laughs> and we are about to go paint Bluff Park Elementary School. So we're here at the school. I'm going to build my easel and we'll get started. Okay. All right, so I'm going to show you what colors we need. We're going to need a burnt sienna. We're going to need raw sienna and burnt umber. So these are our browns. And then we've got white. And then we need a couple greens. So sap green. Oh, these are both sap green. What? What? How are these the same? Okay, we have a dark green <laughs> and a lighter green. <laughs> and then a yellow. And then we're going to have black. And then we're going to have my favorite color, teal, and a light blue for the sky. But so what we're going to do first is we're going to paint the whole canvas, this burnt sienna. What we're going to do first, we need our big brush and our burnt sienna and we're just gonna do a nice even coat all over the canvas and the sides um, so I've got a cup of water I'm just gonna kind of dab my brush in and then I'm just gonna start painting so I'm gonna paint the whole thing doesn't have to be perfect Okay, now we're gonna go check on our canvas. And it's dry. So we're gonna start. All right. So what we're gonna do first, one, because I forgot to bring a piece of chalk, we're just gonna start with a little white And we're going to take a small brush and we're going to mix a little bit of white into our burnt sienna to make just a tiny bit lighter color than what we've got on our canvas so that we can see it, but it doesn't show up too much. All right, so I've got a little bit of white and burnt sienna. I'm going to start sketching out our school. What I want to start with is I want to kind of put um, put a little dot up here. I'll do a little triangle up here for this is how far I want the roof to come. I'm going to make it a little bit lighter so that y'all can see it. Alright, so this is the top of our roof. And this, we're going to say, is the bottom. So the very top, and then we're going to add kind of in the little bit higher than the middle. This is the top of the, um, of the brick. All right, so now we have a couple borders, and we're going to extend some of these lines and make sure they're in the right place. So I'm going to extend our roof out and that makes a nice triangle. And then we've got two columns in the front and I am painting so, so lightly. Just, this is just for me to see. Nobody's going to see this drawing because we're going to paint over it. All right. So we've got a triangle and two poles. And so our roof goes back into space. So we wanna 
use some lines right here, kind of bring that down. Oh, get out of here. Oops. Why are there bugs everywhere? All right. All right, and then we want to do the door or the, the door and the windows, and that kind of makes, um, it's kind of a semicircle on the top. And then if you, it, from where I'm standing, that the line is kind of right underneath the tip of the roof. So if I take my brush and go kind of skip this, I think the window should end right there, the, the door. All right. And then we've got these kind of light blue poles here. All right, so we want just a little bit of information, not too much. Oh, let's put in where um, the little awnings are. They're kind of not quite in the middle of the brick wall. They're a little bit higher and they've got stars attached to them and we can see it just a little bit right there. All right, so that's my drawing. All right, and I didn't want to draw too much because when I start putting the color in, I might realize that I've kind of made a mistake. So we want to be able to fix it. We don't want to have a solid, solid drawing. All right, so now okay, we get to paint. Right. Okay. okay. Are you sweating too? All right. All right, so we've got our burnt sienna and our white. So I'm gonna put out the rest of our browns, which are burnt umber, whoops. That did not go where I wanted it to. <laughs> All right, so we've got burnt sienna, I mean burnt umber. And then we've got this raw sienna, kind of a yellow, yellowy color. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and put out our greens because we've got some greens in our school in the building too. So I've got that brighter green and then I've got this darker green. All right, and then I'm going to use kind of an a, a in-between size um, brush. So I started with this big brush to paint the whole thing and then I used a smaller brush to kind of sketch and so now I want to use like an in-between size. So what I'm going to start with first, I'm going to start with um, the lighter parts um, which are the, the inside of that triangle, the doors, the um, things under the poles, and maybe a little bit on the top of the roof. So I'm going to mix up a little bit of white in my burnt I'm my raw sienna color to make kind of a off white. I don't want it to be bright, bright white to start. All right, so I'm gonna fill in my school sign. I'm gonna leave a little hole for that little air vent. All right, underneath, we've got a little bit of white. And I'm not trying to fill in the whole thing. I'm leaving, I'm leaving some of that burnt sienna color showing. All right, and then I'm gonna get right here at the bottom of the poles, fill that in. And then I'm gonna do the door. I'm gonna make the door and the windows a little bit brighter. So I'm gonna kind of try to draw the doors as I'm going. And I'm not gonna add black until the very, very end. Because when black mixes in, 
kind of turns gray. So we want everything to be nice and dry before we use our black. All right, and then we've got a little white on the top here. All right. Uh, I think I can put a little bit more down here for our sidewalk. All right, so I kind of start with my light colors first. And I'm gonna rinse off my brush. And since our brick is kind of red and we started with this kind of reddish burnt sienna, uh, we don't have to do too much to the brick. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my um, greens. So this green on the awning, I'm gonna use this kind of dark green, but I'm gonna add some white and maybe a little of this raw sienna. So I'm using a little bit of this color, this yellowy and the green and a little white. It's not bright, bright green. It definitely is green. All right, and so we're gonna put that right here. So these are little awnings. And that might have even been too green. I might add a little more white. All right, so there's green there. And then green right here. And then on the top of our roof. It's a little bit darker. And as it goes back, it's going to get a little lighter. All right. And then so these poles out here, they're almost a little blue. So I'm going to grab teal. I'm going to grab a, a little bit of teal. And then a little bit of this light blue violet. off that brush and I'm gonna add a little bit of that light blue into that green I've already made for these things. What are those things? Do you know? I think maybe the benches. Is it like, a bench? Which thing? Pipe? Yeah, I think it's a bench. Yeah. Okay. This kind of light blue. All right, and then while I've got my light blue, I'm gonna go ahead and do the sky. So I'm gonna start with light blue and then maybe kind of go to teal. Uh, the best thing about the sky is you really can play with it. You can do whatever you want. So I'm gonna mix them light blue here. I can add in some white while it's wet. Kind of make some nice subtle clouds. All right, and then as it gets higher, I think I'm gonna use some teal. So you really, really play with the sky. Alright, are you good? You want to take a break for sure? <laughs> You're holding it, that's all hard. I actually might have put my hand over it for one second. That's okay. That's how we get camera one, camera two. All right, so now I'm going to add the black. I don't know what happened. I don't know. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to add the black. <laughs> and a little bit of yellow. 
All right, and I'm gonna use my, my smaller brush now. So we're gonna add some more kind of details like the windows, um, the stars that I feel like some people don't even notice there's stars up there. Um, and then, and we'll be able to write. So, okay, this is a little bit dry now. And so I'm gonna take my black and I'm gonna put in the black at the windows. And I try to steady my hand um, with my other, with my finger. You can put your hand down just a little more if it's dry. Um, or you can use your other arm like this. If you need to be a little bit more steady. Oop. All right, and I'm gonna do some windows up here. And they're not perfect. I'll probably go back over the white just a little bit. And then some windows back here. Okay, and then I'm gonna do this circle window. So since I left a hole, all I have to do is kind of add some stripes. And I'm not worrying about if I get out of the line. All right, and now I'm going to rinse the black off and go to my dark green and I'm gonna kind of add some stars. So instead of trying to paint a star, you know, like you normally would, like um, crisscross, um, stars have five points. So I'm just gonna try to put those points in. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. So one at a time, I'm gonna do each point. Because if I try to do that crisscross with this paint, it'll just kind of turn into a blob. So five little points. As many stars as I can fit in. And then as my painting has dried, it's gotten a little bit, uh, the paint's kind of faded just a tiny bit. So I'm gonna go in and kind of add some more to this green, kind of like a shadow underneath here. A little more up here for a shadow. All right, I'm gonna look and see if there's any more green. And I actually see some trees kind of poking in, so I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take this yellow that I put out down here and add it to some of my green. Do you wanna get that a little bit? So I've kind of made like a, a pretty bright green and I'm gonna add that back here. And I'm gonna do just like little dots Kind of like leaves, as if they were leaves. Back here, and a couple back here. All right, and then let's see. Now I'm just gonna have to look and see what I'm missing because I'm liking what it looks like. So I haven't really done anything on the brick and all my brick right here, my brick color is one, one color. So I'm gonna take my darker brown, my burnt umber, and mix it just a little bit with my burnt sienna. So I have a little bit darker than what we started with. And I'm gonna find the shadows. So if I'm looking up here, there's kind of a shadow on one side of this pole. There's a shadow on the other side of this, on this pole. And then all the brick underneath the awning is a little bit darker because it's in the shade. So I'm gonna make that 
a little bit darker, not this pole. And so as I do that, and making everything darker but the pole, then now our pole is kind of standing out. And I want to paint in the way that the bricks are laid. So they're laid um, horizontal, so I want to paint horizontal like this. And you can actually put in a couple little bricks like this. You know, if you want it to look like bricks, you don't have to do every single brick. Or you can just kind of fill it in like this. Or we could fill it in dark. And then you kind of bring your burnt sienna back and just add a couple little bricks. So if you just add a few bricks, then our, our brain kind of kind of makes us see that this is a brick building, even though we didn't paint every single brick in it. All right, I'm gonna do the same up here. I'm just gonna put a couple little bricks in. All right, and then maybe a couple little bricks in on this, on the pole. Oh, too much paint, too much paint. You don't, you don't wanna get too much. You can always put more on. It's hard to take paint off. So I got these nice little brick columns now. All right, and then I'm gonna go back to the first thing I started with, which is, was kind of the white. And I'm gonna use a brighter white now because I want things to pop out at me. So like our, the bottom of our columns, I want the part that's closest to us to be brighter. Let's go one side. All right, and then I'm gonna go over this triangle part and I'm gonna, as I do that, I'm gonna fix all those little um, lines I put. So now all those black lines are back in that window. All right, and then I'm gonna look for anything else that needs white. So maybe the top of this awning, see has a little white. All right, and then I'm gonna go back to our door, which is bright, bright white, and put in any lines I might have missed. Maybe I'll brighten up this right there. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of white for this bench in the front that we made blue and just make it a little bit um, lighter on the top. And when you do things like this, this makes it look more three-dimensional. So as a highlight and a shadow. It's not just flat. All right, and then we just kind of look and see what else we need. So I, we've got those stars and we have our awning, but nothing's holding up the awning to the stars. So we're gonna take our dark green, kind of lighten it up and add these what do you think these are called? <laughs> star holders. <laughs> All right. Oh, I forgot to start right here. Add that in. The star holders. All right, and then I, I think, let's see. I might want to add just a little bit of kind of shadow underneath our school 
when things um, don't make a shadow, they kind of look like they're floating. So when you add kind of some dark down here, kind of grounds things, makes it look like they're sitting on the earth instead of about to float away off the canvas. All right, so I've got a little bit of shadow there. All right, and I could do maybe one more layer on my on my background. So I'm just gonna play with these blues and the teals again. And so when you do a second layer of things, your paint is gonna show up more. Every time, the more layers, the better the paint shows up. So I'm just gonna take kind of my teal and my blue and I'm making a pretty, pretty sky. See how that's kind of showing up a little bit better. And then I'm going to take a little white, maybe make a cloud coming in here. But I mean, you could do whatever kind of sky you wanted. You could do it at, at night. I've never really seen Wolf Park Elementary at night. It could have stars and a moon, or it could be a sunrise. Maybe you got to school early, early enough to see the sunrise. All right, so I think now all we need is um, the Bluff Park Elementary uh, sign. And so I'm gonna take the smallest brush I can find. We'll say it's this one. All right, and what I'm gonna do so I don't run out of room, because I don't wanna write Bluff Park and then run out of room. What I'm gonna try to do is, I'm gonna mark where I'm gonna put a B. So I've got a B here, bluff. And then the pop, I'm just gonna kind of, I'm not gonna write it, I'm just gonna make, I'm just gonna count it like L, U, F, F, and then I'm gonna write P. And I'm just gonna like P, A, R, K, and then I'm gonna write S here. C H O O L. All right, so now I know I've got to fit all those letters in between there. So I can even, you don't have to write in the right order. So I'm gonna do an F here, an L here, an F here. And a U here. All right, same with park. I'm gonna write a K here, an A here, and an R. All right, and so I've got S, L, C, O, H. Did I spell that right? Yes. <laughs> All right, so I fit a little part school in there. And the secret, if you mess up writing, because it is hard to write um, with a paintbrush, the secret is to instead of trying to just to erase it and fix it all, like right here, I'm not really happy with my U, so I'm gonna take the, the color I did first and just kind of try to fix it with the background color instead of trying to write it all over. And then the very, very last thing that you have to do with your painting is sign it. So my name is Jane Morgan, and so I sign my paintings with a J and an M in the bottom right corner, and I sign it J, M, I think it, it's done. Get Susu in it. <laughs> Jane Morgan, paint the school. And thanks for watching my first painting lesson with my assistant, Lily. I hope you enjoyed it and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos.